Hey, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke chapter 15 today, verses 22 to 24. The, the lost son has returned home. He's confessed his sin. And now we look and see what the reaction of the father is. But the father said to his servants, Bring out the best robe and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand and sandals on his feet, and bring the fatted calf here and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found, and they began to be merry. So the big, the big celebration immediately, immediately happens. But let's look at this. So the father says, bring out the best robe and put it on him. So they're not going to just bring out the best robe and uh, just say, here, you put this on. They are treating him like royalty, returned royalty. Here he says, bring out the best thing we've got and you put it on him. So the son is just, he, he, he's, he's, there's a kind of a passive element in this. He has returned. That was very active. But he's being received into the kingdom very, very decidedly, okay? So they're going to give him the best robe. By the way, what's the best robe for you and I to have? It's the robe of Christ's righteousness, not your righteousness or mine, but God's goodness, God's righteousness, and that's what we need. So yes, put it in, and God puts it on. Are we willing to have him put it on? Uh, it says, bring out, uh, put a ring on his hand and sandals on his feet, now, this isn't really about like regular adornment, things like today. Like today, you look very worldly if you've got metal sticking out of your face every which place. But the ring was authority. The signet, you know, you would use that to stamp documents and make them count. So this son, is his authority as a son of the father is restored to him. Sandals on his feet, probably because this guy, all he had left was uh, rags, if probably, probably nothing by the time he even got home. No shoes. God will give us what we need so we can publish the gospel of peace. We need those gospel shoes. Uh, bring the fatted calf here and kill it. We're not into killing maybe animals for food, some of us, but I'll tell you what, uh, this is, you know, let's bring out the best food we have and, and let's pass it out. We're going to have a big, a big event. Uh, and so that's what you have here. Let's eat and be merry. And there says twice in here that he went to be merry. This my son, why? This my son was dead and is alive. Again, he was lost and is found. And again, this is a case where there's a very clear picture of lostness and foundness. There's a very clear picture of death and life. He is alive again. You and I can live today. We can be alive again. If we've wandered from God, we can be alive again and have the Holy Spirit in us, in our heart, in between our ears, helping our mind Oh, friends, the Father is just pleased to receive us if we'll only come to him. So gracious. And, and this guy didn't do anything. He didn't have to do a bunch of, a bunch of uh, prayer beads. He doesn't have to walk up the steps and kiss each step. He comes home as a complete wreck and a failure, but the Holy Spirit has changed his heart. And so he's received home immediately. There we see a lot about the way the Father relates to you and I. If we've wandered away, the Father wants us to come back, and he will give us everything immediately. Are we willing? Are we interested? Or are we just busy with all the, 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 the flashing lights and the chrome of planet Earth in the 2020s? Hey, it doesn't amount to too much. What you need and what I need is Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, uh, we love the response of the Father. It should tell us a lot about your feeling about us, how much you love us, how re much rejoicing there is in heaven when we return. So may we uh, stay with you, Lord. If we've wandered away, may we return to you. And thank you, Lord, for being the way you are. You are the kind of God that we can really worship and want to spend forever, real forever with. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, may the Lord bless you and watch over you today. He has such great blessings for you.